So I'm going to be showing you guys today how to build an anchor. And how I got this design was from the YouTube channel Muddy Water Catfish, I think it is. I think he used it for the river, and I'm using it for the ocean. So mine's got to be a little bit heavier, and there's got to be a little bit of a engineering twist on the anchor part. So what I'm using is a 4-inch diameter ABS pipe. I've got the cap for it, too first thing I'm going to do is cut this to a 16 inch section. Well, let me first go into what parts you'll need. So you'll need a 4 inch ABS pipe, the pipe cap, 10 foot piece of 3 by 8 rebar, some concrete mix, a chain that can fit over the rebar, and a hacksaw. That's basically it. So, first thing I'm going to do is measure this out 16 inches and cut it with the hacksaw. In the other guy's video, he used a 3 inch section, but I need mine to be heavier because I'm going to put this in the ocean. He put his in the river, so I need mine to be a little bit heavier. I'm going to fill this with concrete later. But before we do that, I'm going to drill a half inch bit into that pipe cap because I need this 3 8 inch rebarb to fit through the holes. So I'm going to do two, two holes. One here, one here. Got two holes. Alright, now that my uh, holes are drilled in my ABS pipe, I want to measure off 64 inches of this piece of this rebar So the idea behind this 64 inch piece that I'm going to thread it through the eye of the pipe like that and In the center of this I'm going to bend it so there's a little U shape coming out of the top of the anchor or the bottom of the anchor So I'll measure off half of it 32 inches Alright, that's right there, so I need to cut that, or bend that, right there in the middle. Now I'm going to try to use my porch as a, as a bending tool, and hope, hope I don't pry off the wood. So the basic idea is to get it like this, into a U shape, if you can see that hopefully. I just want to bend it. Might need to hammer that. So the basic idea behind that was that I just wanted to get this pipe, this rebar, to be the same width as that. I'll try to bend this back a little bit. If I just feed this through the pipe like this. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and measure off a two 26 inch sections of this rebar. It's a little too hard to cut with the hacksaw, so I'll just bring out my trusty bolt cutters. I see one is a little bit longer, so I'm just cut the extra piece off there. So the idea behind these two pieces, you probably already know, it's just going to go inside here. I'm going to bend it, and it's going to mimic these right here. So it's basically done. Except I need to add the concrete, of course. It's going to look like that when it's finished. So this is basically the completed anchor. What I did was I poured the concrete inside and I positioned the anchor points in relation to each other like that and I've got this chain in the middle and the idea behind this chain which in the original video he explained it a little bit more detail is it's right there in the middle like that and you have your rope that you attach to your boat on the end of the chain and 
you connect the chain with a zip tie to the top of that little U thing. And if you get hung up on the bottom of the ocean and you can't move, then instead of the anchor being pulled straight up like that, the zip tie will break and you'll be able to lift the chain, the anchor straight up like that. So it should free you from any snags. You know, I probably don't even need that because I'm gonna be fishing at an open sand beach. And one thing that I was concerned about, about because I'll be fishing at the beach, I'll be using my raft at the beach is, I, would, I was thinking that these pieces of rebar would just slide, slice right through the sand. But to c try to counter that, I used this piece of hardware cloth for my crab snares and I'm trying to make a, like a little catch point. So as the anchor is cutting through the sand, there'll be more surface area to catch the sand and it should hold me in place better. So I'm just going to trim these lines up, put <laughs> a couple more of these things on the pieces and uh, yeah, that's a anchor, about 30 pounds. That should be able to hold me out there. So before I end this video, I just want to show you how I'm going to tie my rope to the anchor. Basically going to be using a carabiner kind of link and I'm going to be tying an anchor bend or an anchor hitch. And how you tie that is you put the line through your, whatever you want to tie it to. You could even do this straight through the anchor, straight to the anchor and loop, loop that over one time, leaving a loop on top like that. And, you know, if your line was like that, you would, You'd wrap this around the back. And bring it through that loop. So you want to keep those both those eyes open. And pull it tight. And then after you have it like that, tie another knot on top. And there you go. That's a uh, anchor bend, pretty easy. And they suggest to cinch it off here so there's no chance that it'll, it'll come loose. Or you can even leave enough rope on the tag end to tie another knot on top just to secure it. But that's basically what it is to secure an anchor. Just that knot, an anchor bend, anchor hitch. Check that out if you wanna learn how to tie that knot. All right, thanks for watching. Hope this video helps you if you're looking to make an anchor and look forward to a pretty fun video that I have in, in mind that I'll be taking my raft out in the ocean with. All right, see you next time.